Tom, Lele, Hi everyone, it's Olivia from Gurney Bunches and in this week's video I'm going to be showing you how I crocheted onto this inexpensive chain that I got from the pound shop. I've already filmed the intro to this video and um, I kind of did it as a let's see what we come up with and didn't even occur to me that you'd probably already seen it from the thumbnail. So yes, no surprises here. So the next bit you see is me starting off and talking about the yarn and the chain. Okay, so I'll get on with that. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Olivia from Gurney Bunches and in this week's video we are going to experiment together. So I thought I would just show you me just playing around really. I've got some yarn here that I really like. It's got these lovely um, variegated colours. Um, it's called Performance Cotton Queen. I just got it on eBay. Um, yeah, it's quite reasonably priced. I think this is a 50 gram ball. If I can find it somewhere. Yes, yeah, 50 grams. Um, I don't think it was very expensive but yeah I like it nonetheless and I'm going to apply it to this cheap chain that I got in the pound shop so nothing special here no gold here but you can see it's nice and chunky and um, I thought I've seen this online where you just sort of crochet around the edge so I thought we I would have a go with you and show you what I would do, my thought process and stuff, because there isn't really a pattern to it. So hopefully this will work out, fingers crossed. So I'm going to get on and show you how we end up with what we end up. <laughs> okay, so the yarn says that it requires a two and a half to three and a half mil hook or needles. So I'm going to go with a two and a half and I might need a three so there's my two and a half and three mil hook. So still deciding on which one I'm going to want first. So, you know, this is how I do things. I kind of play around. I don't expect to get it off in one go. So um, I'm going to take this off. Probably easier if I just undo the clasp, isn't it? So anyway, um, so if you're in the UK, I got that from Pound Land, in case you're interested, but I'm sure um, there's Pound World and Pound Land, isn't there, here? So I'm sure either one would do something similar. Okay, so I'm going to pick up my 2.5mm hook first, and I'm going to see what it's like, because basically we're going to have to crochet through these chains. I'm thinking that that one might be the most comfortable, and that one's probably just a tad too thick maybe so not leaving me much room to work there um okay so i now need to work out do i need to have all of these chains laying flat with each other see like that's got all cockled up there so do i need to rearrange them all so they all lay flat they probably don't lay flat because it's just cheap oh hang on here we go all right there we go it's a bit of a method there yeah, definitely. Okay, so it's going to be a bit fiddly, but you know, these things are worth doing, aren't they? So, in crochet, we work right to left, so I need to be at the other end. Starting point there. Okay, I'm just going to pop that down. So, I'm just going to take my sleeve off my yarn. I'm going to find the middle bit. Right, so this one turns a bit horrendous knot, too late. Uh, right, found my end. There we go. So again, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna try with the two and a half mil hook. So I'm going to attach the yarn to my hook. So that's just a slip knot, and attach it that way. I can already feel that this hook might be too small um, for my desired effect. So, but we'll have a go. Let's have a look. So I've seen them and. I haven't really paid too much attention to the ones that I've seen so I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to go from one end to the other but you know this is how I want it to look at the end of the day so um, and I'm not cutting any yarn here so I can easily undo it if I don't like it so basically the same way that I did my um, Christmas tree wreaths um, or Christmas decoration wreaths I will put a link up here and in the description box down below to that but basically you're going to attach the yarn you want to put the hook through the chain grab the yarn and then just start working around that chain so I'm just going to do a slip stitch to start off with so that I'm not uh... and yes it is fiddly 
So there we go. So sorry if my camera is going out of focus. I'm just going to tighten that up. Okay, so now I kind of want to decide how I want this to look. So I had in mind that I might want some um, scallops, um, but I think because I've got this variegated yarn, I might just start with kind of doing half trebles. So British terminology, because I'm British, and I'm going to do two chains to replace the first half treble, and I'll show you how to do a half treble. So you put your um, yarn over, put your hook through, and if you're doing normal work, it will be just your stitches. But I'm putting it through the, the chain, grabbing some yarn, and then I'm going to pull the yarn through all three loops on my hook there. And I've pulled that one a bit tight, so... There we go. Right. So I'm going to do that again. So essentially this will be my third half treble. And that variegated yarn has already changed already, so that's quite nice. So, how many shall we do? I think maybe we could get four in. Let's try it. So, there we go. There's four. I think we could get five in. I don't want to make it too tight. Right, I'm going to leave. What should we do? Oh, what should we do? What should we do? Right, let's do one more. We can always undo it, can't we? So that's five. Okay. There we go. Right. So now I'm just going to make sure that's laying flat so it's not twisted. And then I'm going to go straight into doing it into the next one along. Um, <laughs> now maybe in these chains that have got links that have got chains either side of them I'm only going to be able to fit three in so let's see maybe one more <laughs> see it's all trial and error all trial and error and people say to me how do you do that most of the time I'm just sort of guessing <laughs> yeah four I think yeah okay I'm liking it already though I'm loving the look already so let's not get caught up with the other chains <laughs> so I've got three done there and I think I really like this I love the way it looks I'm loving that angle there where it just sort of looks like steps so so yeah I'm going to come back when I've done all one of the one sides and decide if I want to do any more to it Okay, so I've gone all the way now across my chain and I've got to the end there, so I'm just going to cut my yarn. Uh, yep, cut my yarn and then tie that end off like that. And I really didn't use very much yarn at all out of that, that big part that I pulled out at the beginning. I've not even used half of that, so yeah not very much yarn there used at all so I'm going to sew in my ends and I will just get a needle and show you how I do that so I've got a fairly thin long and sharp needle there so that will should just take my cotton just about yep and I'm going to just weave in on the wrong side, just sort of down in the middle of those stitches. And there we go, two ends all sewn in and tidied up and then we can just join this now. We can we attach the clasp. And I think I really like that. I think that's great. I love the way that looks. I think that's going to make a brilliant, inexpensive gift for someone. If you wanted to make that for a friend, they would love that, I'm sure. And you haven't spent too much money. Like, you know, this pound shop chain really doesn't cost very much money, does it? And yeah, I love that. <laughs> so the yarn that you use is entirely up to you. If you know that person really loves the colour, I love the way this kind of looks like camouflage now you can do whatever you want that's just laying down the foundation to do whatever you want but I happen to really like it like that so 
yeah that's the end of my little video so I hope you enjoyed this I hope you enjoyed seeing the thought process and how I kind of just sort of played around and really you know they kind of look complicated these things but they're not and you know normally you can get it go, uh, going in one hit so you know just play and as long as you're not cutting the yarn you're not wasting anything so there's nice up close I just I think it's brilliant <laughs> I have to say I love it so yeah that's the end of my video I hope you really enjoyed it if you like this sort of video give me a thumbs up if you don't let me know why and I can see what else I can do for you and if you haven't already why not hit that subscribe button down there I'd love it if you did and until then I'll see you in my next video thanks for watching bye Lele, no, no, my